Hi, how to get started with Hot Folder Monitor. So to get started with this software, first install it and then double click on the icon on the desktop to start with the software and you'll be presented with a small window like this to get started. Now click on Monitor, Setup. So in here you can monitor a folder and process any files with an exe or a script or a visual basic script and you can have many different setups so this is an example setup this is going to be really simple so i have a script here for editor so all it does it does a directory command on the input file to an output file txt so basically it would take this example pdf in this folder and create example.pdf.txt with the directory information for that and it's that simple. This is just an example. It could be any XC script to do anything you like. So I'm going to monitor this folder here. So you can either just copy and paste it in or you can click browse to that folder. So I want to execute this file here, this script. So I click on browse and double script on a script. Okay. So move to folder means after processing. So this is to stop repeat processing of the same file. But if you have this check log option checked, then you don't need to actually do that. You can leave the files in there if you want to. So it's up to you whether you want to move it or not. So I want to match PDFs. So I can do .pdf. Now you can just type in part of the file name if you wanted to. So say if you had uh, invoices with a certain name or characters in it, then you can just put those characters and it will just match on those. But you can do the file extension like this and it will recognize it as a file extension and just look for that ending of the PDF. So I'm going to use that .pdf. So file parameters are what parameters you want to pass into the script. So in this case, I'm just going to pass the file name. I could actually leave it blank in this case and it would do it automatically. But that's what I want to pass into there. So if you want to pass other information, say you had a executable and you add various parameters you can add those into there in the file parameters box now the working folder is the folder where the script is generally so it might need files like dll's and things like that to execute the executable correctly so i'm going to set that to the this folder here and it's just same as a scan folder and then just click add to monitor list so that's now set up ready to go i'm just going to click activate monitoring save and close so now you can see monitor is active you can just check every five seconds at the moment you can set it to different settings so you can see it's taken the pdf and it's run the script on the pdf and it's created this txt file here this is just a dir on the file coming in so it gives you all the information like that so if i just copy this file here paste it to another copy you'll see it create another on, on that file that's just come in as well. So you can process thousands of files. So now it's taking that example copy the PDF and run the DRR on that file. So you can do many things like copying files, run executables for other software, things like that. So for example, in monitor setup, we have an example here, one of our own software products. Click on File Menu, Load Examples, PDF Contra Split SA. So say if you had this software installed from our website, this would be the hot folder monitoring process to execute on any PDF file that comes into that folder and runs this exe file on it and it moves to done folder after it's processed and it will pass these parameters which are unique to that piece of software. So this way you can actually process a numerous amount of executables with different parameters. You have up to 300 monitor folders with different settings. Just download the software and give it a try. It's a free trial. It will run for one hour so you can fully test it out on lots of files. Once the one hour is up, you just restart the software and you can run it for another hour after that. Give it a try.